to Deborah from I'm going back to Bethlehem to ignite this fire. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Deborah. I send you virtual hugs wherever you are because you are loved over here on this channel. First and foremost, I don't know when I'm dropping this video. It's currently December 27, 2022. But if we have already entered into the new year, happy new year, you guys. It's 2023, like, wow, just, just wow. So you guys, we're gonna jump right into the video because I am really excited, like. <laughs> so let's just get straight into the video. So, um, I have a letter. Okay, and before I go ahead and get into what this letter is about, you guys already know, like I love to give you guys backstory so that you guys are not lost in the source. So in the beginning of 2022, well, okay, let me back. So in 2021, one of my goals for that year was to really focus on self-care and starting to do things for myself that I wanted other people to do for me. One thing about me is if you do not know this by now, I love handwritten letters. It's just something about, it's just something about receiving a handwritten letter. For me, it just shows that there was effort being made. As you guys already know, we live in a day age where people don't have time these days. Nobody have time. You know, everything is through text. Everything is voice notes so when someone writes you a handwritten letter at least for me I, <laughs> that just means so much like so with that being said I thought to myself hmm how about right right how about you write yourself a letter and read it at the end of the year I will say that I don't know what was written in this letter but yeah so I don't remember what I wrote in this letter when I did write this my whole intent was not to read this on camera it was definitely something that I wanted to do for myself and just kind of read it and kind of just look back as to where my mindset was in the beginning of the year so um, I don't remember what I wrote in this letter okay this was not intended to be read on camera and I hope this is a sign for you to start to do things for yourself that you want other people to do for you we're gonna to open this okay I'm nervous I'm super nervous oh my gosh and I think the only reason why I'm so nervous is because I don't remember <laughs> I really do not remember what I wrote in this letter and the fact that I'm about to read this on camera girl a few moments later i feel like i'm reading a page out of my diary like oh my goodness like what on camera like what this is this is gonna be interesting i really but i'm actually i'm actually excited to see where my mindset was around this time <laughs> i'm so nervous oh my gosh why I feel like I'm about to cry? What is wrong with me? I'm getting emotional right now. I really am. Oh my gosh, look how I folded it. Okay, I really don't know. Okay, so this is how it looks. So it says, Dear Deborah, today is January 1st, 2022, Saturday, and I am writing you a letter. I'm writing you a four-page letter, and I am crying with a Okay. 2021 was a lot for you. You all. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. I had to stop because we're going to do this over and I'm going to read it and we're going to talk about it another time. Okay? All right. Dear Deborah, today is January 1st, 2022, Saturday, and I am writing you a letter. 2021 was a lot for you. You You ended your relationship with so-and-so. You took a break from ministry. You cried a lot, but here you are. It's a new year. There will be challenges, disappointments, accomplishments, but through it all, keep your eyes focused. Whew. Don't give up. This year has to be my success year. No more crying about feeling stuck, but 2022 will be a year of growth. Oh God, God is good. Wow, faith, wow, okay. 
but 2022 will be a year of growth and success. Deb, you can do it. You just have to be dedicated and push through. So until December 30th or January 1st, 2023, we shall meet again, LOL. And I put um, a verse that says, take the light in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. <sighs> so, um, that last part got me. But 2022 will be a year of growth and success. Wow. All right. Woo! Recollect, recollect, recollect. I can honestly say 2022 was literally my growth year. It's interesting to see the mindset that I was going into the new year, which was 2022, and just seeing what I declared over my life. When the Bible says the power of the tongue can speak life or death, it's no joke. 2022 was literally a year where God was really testing my faith. Definitely a year where God was like, are you going to trust me or are you going to act out of your emotions? My spiritual growth in this year, getting closer to God, is really a year where I really had to adjust to different changes. And I'm someone who, I don't really adjust well with changes, right? I really like things to be consistent. Like I really seen God moving in my life and December was definitely a hard time. I don't wanna to speak too much of it, but there was a tragedy that happened in the month of December. That affected me a lot. But besides the month of December, God really shown me like his faithfulness. And I can honestly say like 2022 was literally my mustard seed year. The Bible says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain to move and it be moved. Just the little ounce of faith that I had, it showed me what it could produce. Like God showed me what that can produce. And I can honestly say like my faith in God has grown even more. Oh, I want to cry. <laughs> And these, these are happy tears, you guys. These are happy tears because I was really not in a good space and God just showed me his faithfulness. I'm honestly excited for 2023 because every new year, it just feels like it's a new start. I'm even more excited that I wrote myself a letter and just to see exactly what I wrote in that letter, just to see my goals being accomplished, not even being aware of that, just proves to me that God hears my prayers. It's just amazing just to see how um, the fruit of my labor and just my, my faithfulness towards God, how that is going to just show in 2023. I'm just super excited, but I hope this encourages you guys to write yourself a letter tuck it somewhere that you won't forget okay um, and set a reminder on your calendar at the end of the year to read it and just to be able to see like where your mindset was i'm still just like blown away at i mentioned how 2022 will be my growth year and seeing that actually be i'm speechless i'm i i'm speechless as always to god be the glory it is all god so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy this and of course i thank god for allowing you guys to watch this video because today was not promised but it was all given by god and i thank god for that and i hope you guys have a good morning good afternoon good evening good night whenever time you're watching this video have a blessed day may god bless you and until next time to embrace his light and still he walks with me talks with me and tells me i'm his child he's still the same today never changing in all his ways he'll be forevermore christ king of kings and lord of lords he's still the same